Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Lewis Anna Trans, aka M25, aka Lewis JM. And I want to discuss to you about what happened recently in the WWE. Normally I would be uh, discussing about the one of the most uh, ridiculous tag teams of all time, which is the New Day. But but due to what's hap what happened within the sports entertainment, I think I should share this with you, because this is a serious problem. Now, for those of you who don't know yet, Seth Rollins, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, had a had to do a match at a live showing event in Ireland. When he was doing the power bomb, it led to it led to him breaking his um, knee so badly that he had to require surgery. He he the surgery was successful, and now he's recuperating in in the hospital, trying trying to regain his strength. Problem is, he's going to be out for six to nine months. Which leads to the WWE Championship. Since he obtained it for so, ever since WrestleMania, he has no other choice but to relinquish it and to cancel the match between Roman Reigns and himself. Now we have like a tournament set up to determine who's going to be the new championship, which is awesome because Seth, because let's face it, Seth Rollins is Rollins been champion for too long, and uh, and I think that that therein lies the problem because as much as I enjoyed the tournament. It does feel a little, a little iffy about these um, superstars, some some of which are mid carders. But let's be f serious for a second. We we have a lot of injured, injured superstars on the list already f since 2015. Daniel Bryan's out with an injury. Sting's out with an injury. We have um, who else do do we have? Randy Orton is out with an injury. Then we have John Cena out on personal leave along with Rusev and it's starting to get starting to become a serious pattern right here. Same thing goes with NXT as Sami Zayn is still out of action we don't know when he's coming back. So so now with and now with Seth Rollins out of the picture the WWE doesn't have much of a face face to continue on with the legacy. So this ter little terminate they set up is a bit much it's a bit is to determine who's going to be the uh, quote unquote face. Now, as far as superstars, superstars who want to become champion, I think it's a little too early. Now, as far as terminants go, I think this is a, I think it's a little too early to bring some of these new gunners into into the championship picture because let's face it, some of these superstars have been in this business for like about what a year. A few years now, and it's still too early on pick, picking a temporary replacement for Seth Rollins. But I think there is a few good car, good ones here. Good ones, I I I might think would be the net, would be the perfect replacement for a championship, for champion. And um, but so I think I should set up a little, nice little list discussing about what type of who's going to be the next champion. A future champion, anyways. Now, first of all, it's not going to be Kevin Owens, Mr. KO himself, because <laughs> let's face it, the uh, let's face it, Kevin Owens, even though he has a huge mean streak ever since defeating Cena in his debut match at Elimination Chamber, is still is still fresh from the W from NXT, and we and we can't just push him to the championship roster. But there are some good ones, of course. There's Roman Reigns. A, a former Shield member, and he, and he seen, and he has like a championship in his veins. I mean, you've got people like Rocky and Rikishi being that, being family members for Ro Rowans, and it's cool, and it's cool to see another, another Simonia, Simonia champ champion in the ranks. But then we also have Dean Ambrose, who, Mr. Lunatic Fringe. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm doing the shield thing because Seth Rollins was in the show before he stabs people in the back. But let's face it, Dean Ambrose had some really good, really good matches from from last year to this year. Even though, even though it's mostly focusing on Seth Rollins or Bray Wyatt or like any other random superstar, and they and they were all pretty good matches, mind you. So it's obvious that that uh, Ambrose would make a good champ champion, even though he's a little. Cuckoo, cuckoo, Logan the Cabeza. Then we got Dolph Ziggler, who, who I gotta admit is by far 
far veteran in this WWE right now. I mean, think think of it like this. He did start out as a quote-unquote assistant for Chavo Guerrero, who was known as uh, Tyler White or something. Something when he was uh, starting... When he when he was going through the uh, quote unquote racist phase, race phase or something, I, I don't know. I, I'm not racist, okay? Just just cut, just a little uh, find that find his his gimmick awkward. Thank goodness he throw that out the window. And then and then of course he was with the tag team of the Spirit Squad, which was <laughs> I don't know who came up with the idea of having a male cheerleading squad being tag team champions, an entire male male cheerleaders team. But he's pretty good with solo with with the solo matches. He had some great accomplishments. A great. He he was the world heavyweight champion, and and believe it or not, he was the sole survivor of last year's Survivor Series match. Match when he was taking on three guys that includes Kane, Rollins, and uh, someone else. Someone else. Someone else. Who was it? Eric? No, not Eric Rowan. Luke Harper, maybe. I I don't know. But still, it's a it was a great. Great, great match, and he was able to defeat all three of them, even though it, the last one was with the help of Sting. However, it was an impress, impressive victory and a great one at that, which is the reason why he should deserve a spot at being the next WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The next one I was thinking about is Ryback. Okay, okay, I can understand that Kalisto defeated Ryback on SmackDown. That I understand, but. Ryback has become a become a force to be reckoned with. Hell, he whether whether he'd been an NXT or the Nexus when he was Skip Sheffield, he was a great He does an incredible job with, with his stick on the Feed Me More chance. And and even though his heel idea of being a bully was a little off the top, he still had some good fight fight in him. Plus he had a chance at getting championships Went back in his early days, even before he got screwed over a couple of times. Times. So, so th him being the next WWE World Heavyweight Champion would be excellent in my book. Then there's also, and then there's Sheamus. Yes, yes, I know that Sheamus. As much as I hate the idea of his look, whether it be the mohawk or the piercings or the beads on his beard or, or whatnot, Sheamus is a pretty good athlete. No doubt about it. He, in fact, he did win the WWE Championship, ship when he was, when he was fresh from, fresh from ECW, from the ECW days. Even if the cha even if he wanted due to Cena tripping and falling to a table, yes, I know that actually happened. But, and he and he had some success on a on a lot of good, good moments as well. He had. He had good rivalries with superstars in the past. He had a he had a tremendous energy that was top notch, and he is a and he's a Celtic warrior, which makes which makes him a great which makes him a dangerous champion to be reckoned with. So he's a he's also a really good shot person for the for the championship. Now then, the last person I'm pretty sure everyone would be flaming me on the comments. But I'm going to say it like it is. Bray Wyatt. Now, I'm not saying that I'm following the buzzards, nor, uh, nor I know that Bray Wyatt and his family is taking on Undertaker and Kane. Still, Bray Wyatt certainly has a psychological thing field into, into his gimmick. He, bring, he brings the bizarreness, he brings the tenacity, he brings... And even if he does... Even if he has help, he can do it alone because it's a championship, and he needs to. And sometimes he he has to win a championship just to get pat, just to get by. I mean, seriously. Seriously, the the man used to have been. You know. Used to used to have been a been a no name face that didn't didn't fit well, and it, and they gave him the look, look, and before, but when they gave him the look. He he was he was so intimidating, so so dangerous. It dangerous. He deserves to have like a championship spot, even even if it was okay, even if he has has like a match with Kane and Taker. So yeah, yeah, those are like good choices for champ 
for being the next WWE champion, champion, maybe potentially the new face of the company. Now, as far as predictions go, being that this tournament has become a major shocker on a few occasions, I feel like the winner for this one should be Roman Reigns because, let's face it, he 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 had missed opportunity after missed opportunity in 2015, and and have him win the championship at Survivor Series would be a great would be a great moment for him. At, at least until from, from from my next prediction that the authority will send Sheamus down here to cash in his money bank championship and we'll have have the Miss Mohawk guy being being the new champion. So yeah, it's obvious that was gonna happen. I mean seriously, Sheamus had that cash money bank for so long. It's not like he's gonna pull Seth Rollins again, Seth Rollins and cash it in on the biggest stage of them all because Mr. Rollins did that. But whatever, it's a it's a bit of a sticky point, sticking point. We don't know much of what's going to happen in the future of the WWE, and um, and who knows? Maybe this is going to be something that we need—a fresher champion that doesn't make excuses, that 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 doesn't bitch about anything, that doesn't act like a greet, a spoiled brat. We need we need a champion that deserves, that respects the fans, that go, that goes comes in and goes out and doesn't. And doesn't just just stay stay away from the WWE until until a championship or any other or any other appearance comes through. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Brock Lesnar. So so yeah, that's my thoughts on what's gonna happen. Um, and of course, any potential future champions. And who knows? Maybe you guys have your own thoughts on who would be the next WWE champion. If you think if you have have any other opinions on who would be the next WWE champion new face leave me com leave a comment below and I'll and and argue, argue about your your thoughts so this is Luis Hernandez I hope you enjoyed this little blog I put up stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys later on